Ariel 1 was launched on April 26, 1962 at 6 p.m. UTC from Launch Complex 17A at Cape Canaveral. It was the first British satellite and was launched on an American Delta rocket, making the United Kingdom the third country with a satellite around the Earth after the United States and the Soviet Union. Ariel 1 came about after the United States made an open offer to other countries to assist in the development and launch of satellites. After political wrangling about the terms, the United Kingdom was the first to take up the offer, and Ariel 1 was subsequently built in the United States under the guidance of NASA's Goddard Space Flight Center. It was named by the British Prime Minister Howard Macmillan after the character from The Tempest. The mass of Ariel 1 was 62 kilograms and it bore a resemblance to many early probes like Explorer 6. Its scientific goal was to investigate how solar radiation interacted with Earth's ionosphere and it carried one cosmic ray, two solar emission and three ionosphere experiments for this purpose. One experiment failed at launch but otherwise Ariel 1 had full functionality for about three months. On July 9th, it was one of the satellites damaged by the electromagnetic pulse from the Starfish Prime 1.4 megaton nuclear warhead detonated at an altitude of 400 kilometers, the largest man-made nuclear explosion in space. After that, it was only able to send down limited data, though it did accumulate data to assist with Explorer 20's science in 1964. Launched to an orbit of 1,202 kilometers by 397 kilometers to an inclination of 53.8 degrees, Area 1 decayed on May 24, 1976, more than 14 years after launch. Thank you for watching this mission profile of Area 1.